We're at the bakery, we're talking big data. We all know big data is not new. Everyone's been struggling with it for a while, but we're here for a specific reason. The big players, the oracles, the SAPs, the sales forces, everyone's struggling to use them to get the products and services they need to do their jobs. So we've got the best startup and scale up technologies here to help them solve those problems, very practically work out the barriers and how to overcome them. We're looking forward to it. Uh, around big data, I feel like probably our largest problem is how do we commercialize um, uh, the, the data we have? So how, how do we drive better commercial decisions on the back of it? I think the biggest blockers are a combination of practical issues around things like data quality, data availability, the format in which it is, and trying to get all the different people from different parts of the business to come together to solve the problem. The biggest challenge when it comes to data is a culture change thing. But uh, yeah, it's, it's ultimately, ultimately it can be quite a slow process of getting people to shift culture, becoming more collaborative, becoming faster, and becoming more open in their communication and in their way of interacting with other organizations and their customers. So Data Shaker exists to make data easier to work with uh, and in some ways you could say that we do the dirty work of data. What we think or what we find regularly is that small is beautiful in big data and what we mean by that is actually getting people to focus on the smallest problem to solve first, the smallest set of data to work with and build out from there. It's important for brands to visualize their data because they have so much data to look at and to deal with and in order to make the right business decisions they need to be able to interpret that data very quickly. Um, I think it's really important that people, uh, retailers especially, can deal with unstructured data rather than having to kind of spend a huge amount of money on outsourcing, getting it all structured. And that enables them to visualise their data in new and exciting ways which people find more intuitive and easier to interact with and ultimately drive up conversions. I think one of the key insights was to uh, fail fast. And, to, and to, for organisations to really try and adopt a, a more iterative process when they're trying to innovate. That's kind of ship fast and learn fast so their products are actually what people want and not necessarily the long-winded product development process that currently happens within organisations. We've just had a great event. One of the biggest insights that came out was one around methodology. So actually one of the hardest things is when clients and big corporates try and sell in a massive data project. It's hard, takes a lot of investment, and often gets killed. What everyone's learned today is how quick and easy it is to get started with startup and scale-up companies working on small data sets to prove exactly what products and services you can offer to make the data you have really, really useful.